Round them up. It's going to be January 28th for sale, 1964, Plymouth Fury. The search request comes from one of our subscribers. At least the Fury does. I included some Savoys and some Belvedere's. So we got some 1964 Plymouth today. That's going to be the search. Like this subscriber, if there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel below and drop in the comments to make a model you're looking for. And we'll round them up for you. This is a pretty cool search, but it's not the first one I started off here today. You can tell by my voice, man. I'm back. So we're back on rounding them up. You got to dig that. I was sick for like a couple, two weeks there. Had a couple other projects going on. Got a little carried away with some of that, but glad I've let my voice heal up good enough to get back on here and start finding some cool cars for some really cool people. So with all that said, I did try to do a couple different searches. Cornet, 71 to 73 and 72 to 73 monaco man we didn't find enough to make any episodes out of those so again i did add savoys and belvedere's to this subscriber's request but we got enough to have a nice real results here so this is my pick of the day it's not the only one we're going to talk about that's the one i would go check out that you see right here on the thumbnail and banner all that said thanks to all you new subscribers appreciate y'all being here it's going to be on two platforms like usual it's going to be facebook marketplace got four of them on craigslist I put them in price order, so we've deleted off the duplicates. Hopefully, we don't see no ads twice. And again, I put them in price order from lowest to highest. So with all that said, let's get started on this cool search. First one here is going to be a 64 Plymouth Belvedere, because I did say I added some Belvedere's. Two grand for this one. Listed six weeks ago, South Carolina. So this does not run. It was running when it was parked years ago. I can't imagine how many times I've had to say that. That it was running when it was parked years ago with three years of doing rounding them up it's going on four years now and man i gotta tell you this channel's turned out to be pretty cool man i've got to know a lot of you guys by the cars you like and the cars that you own the guys that tune in with the premieres because we premiere every episode so not only do i put my time in on record to making up these episodes i also turn tune back in while they're premiering to chat with you guys and it's just an awesome channel man this has turned out to be way cooler than i ever expected it to be finding cars for other people but it sure has 2000 are best offer on this reasonable offers will be accepted two grand it's four door so it's parts needing some parts north carolina area can't offer him up something quick enough to buy that on to another one we're gonna go up into some big digits here i think we go as high as almost seventy thousand on these so this is 1964 Plymouth Sport Fury two-door. That's how you type it in. Ohio area on Facebook Marketplace. You'll find this car. It's been posted for a week. He wants $2,200 for this one. It's got the automatic in it with the console, bucket seats still. And it looks rough. No engine. It does say clean title. That's critical for being in Ohio. And it says it was a V8 car. Does have some rear end and transmission and a title, no engine, center console, bucket seats, 2200 best offer. Check it out in Ohio, looking for a cool one. It's rusty, but if you're from Ohio, you already know how to deal with rust. Just cut it all out and buy a whole new shell from a catalog. On to another one. I'm not sure how many of these parts they actually make in catalogs. These Furies are pretty badass. Max Wedge, obviously, I think we got a couple on here. If not, they were on eBay. You can always find cars on eBay. They're not hard to find on there, so I don't show them a lot of the times. This is a 1964 Plymouth Fury. $2,200 taxes four weeks ago. You see it? It's four-door. It's got a Poly 318 in it probably, and I know I catch a lot of heat for thinking that engine is just a piece of shit, but it is. So if you want a bone anchor, you can get an anchor with this one. It's a four-door, 318. On to another one. We did include a couple four doors, obviously. 1964 Plymouth Fury here again in Ohio, Cincinnati area. Two days ago, 2500 bucks on this one. And again, it's a four door. They got the back wheels ripped off it in the photos for some reason. Does say clean title, slant six. All the patina it says. Sure does have some patina. Interior's clean it says. One small rust hole in the balance. Driver's side windshield wiper. Serious only inquires. There you go. So I'm missing the grill. Still not a bad price though. Worth twenty five hundred bucks. Got to dig that with the title. On to another one. Nineteen sixty four Plymouth Belvedere. It's gonna be three grand five weeks ago. Amarillo, Texas. I don't like that all the glass is missing. It's sitting outside. It does look like fresh red paint. But I also see a roll cage in it. So you're looking to build a Max Wedge type 
drag car clone. There you go. 64 Belvedere rolling chassis, no title. So, be a great drag car, right? Area against Texas on that one. On to our first Craigslist ad, and this one's going to be in Medford. 64 Plymouth Fury, four grand. And Medford's going to be Oregon. And it's a four door. It looks extremely clean. That car looks beautiful. In the area looking for a four door, four grand. Can't get there fast enough. Been on here five days. Check him out. On to another one. It'll be 1964 Plymouth Acclaim. I guess those searches I tried to do earlier. Which was Monaco and Cornet. Maybe I should have just punched in a claim and Prowler. So if you didn't know it and you're a Mopar guy and you like looking up older Mopars, most of the times the option on Facebook Marketplace isn't in there for the car you have. And a lot of people just put a claim, Prowler. We see everything. Everything but what the car usually is most of the time. So this is a 64. You got to dig the ears right. It is a four door. It's had the back door handle shaved and the door's welded shut, it looks like. Look at that. There's a stack of them. So looking to buy a big horde of them. There you go. Check him out. Arizona. Says he has four cars in total. Two or two doors sedans and two or four door sedans. Must take all. No exceptions. No trades. If that's a thousand dollars a piece, you can't get your big car hauler loaded up fast enough to get out there to grab all four of those. That's my opinion. Four grand. That's the best deal of the day. On to another one, just like all our episodes. Not just because I picked the pick of the day it makes it the best deal. There's a lot of good deals throughout all our episodes. And a lot of the cars are still listed for sale. So I know I meant, failed to mention a lot. Go back and watch older episodes, man. I see those cars that we've seen on episodes before still listed for sale. So, again, it's not hard to look them up. If you want to find this car, you just go on Craigslist, Phoenix area, punch in 1964 Fury, $49.99. Posted a day ago. Just like every episode of Rounding Them Up you watch. You go to that area, punch in the title, and if it's still in the area, it's still for sale more than likely. Three photos on that one. That looks like a great car for five grand. Arizona area, looking for a good one. Wheel sunk halfway in the ground in front. Looks like it's got aluminum slots on it. Was missing the grill, but it's got the glass in it, and it looks solid. Bumpers are gone. Check him out. Five grand on that one. On to another one. It's going to be a 64 Plymouth Belvedere here, 6500 bucks. This is seven weeks ago, Idaho. I don't know, I kind of like the wheels. It is a two-door, and you can see it's been sitting in that barn for a while. There we see a post sitting outside, so I don't know if it's the same car sitting outside now. I don't know, let's see what it says. 64 Plymouth Belvedere Coupe. I don't want to sell it, but I need money to buy a, to buy a daily work truck. So it was dad's growing up originally 318 cars it's got a 413 in there now so you gotta dig a 413 coming with it i didn't see the 413 but i do see the automatic transmission laying there cool looking car cool looking description check him out or best offer 6500 idaho on to another one it's 1964 chrysler sport fury here 7850 listed 14 weeks ago this is going to be in nevada Two door, got the bumpers and grill and bucket seats in this one too. Again, probably a Poly 318 automatic. Sure enough. And Plymouth made, including the 426 Hemi. Yep, they sure did, but this isn't one of them. He's wanting almost eight grand for it. 78.50. On to another one. Speaking of eight grand, this one is eight grand. 64 Plymouth Prowler. There's a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. Listed three weeks ago, Tampa, Florida. Roller. So this trunk's redone, firewall and flooring, some patching set up, super stocker, it's a four speed, 833. Did it have the hump in it? I dig the white wheels, dig the bent buckets. I dig the whole car, man. This is a cool one. You want to build one? Well, you already got the four speed with this one. Eight grand, Tampa, Florida. Check him out. It's been on here for three weeks. On to another one. 1964 Plymouth Fury here, eight grand listed a week ago, Mississippi. It's two 1964 Plymouth Furies. No engine or transmissions in either. The black car is super solid. Has new interior. And the other car, black 64, doesn't have a title. Man, if that's not one without a title, that's a shame. That's a beautiful looking car. Shows you some pretty good frame rails in it. 
That's probably the one that's got the title right there. Go figure. You're going to be switching some VIN numbers. But it looks like a pretty good buy. You're getting both of them. Eight grand. Best enlisted for a week. Mississippi, check them out. On to another one. Wow, this car is out of price order for sure. So I guess we thought it was 20000 but we're just going to go ahead and show it them know it's out of price or we're not going to move it. It's 1964 Plymouth. That's how he's got it listed. PA area, 17 weeks. So that's a long time to be on here. But you see the price. It's 120000 Says he's selling for his dad. Message him. He'll get you the phone number. And he has 264s. A 440 wagon and factory big block four-speed numbers matching Sport Fury. The wagon has a big block 440 roller. So that's the original 444 speed. That's what it sounded like you said one of them was. And look how pretty this wagon is. 120,000. Got a big sticker on those cars. It had satin paint on the black one. They both look beautiful. Look like you take them straight to car shows. 120,000 is not out of range. There you go. 17 weeks, man. Those got to be overpriced, right? Be on here 17 weeks. 1964 Plymouth Fury four-door. 10 grand for this one. It's a four door. And it actually looks great. So, what a beautiful looking four door. With the big block in it for 10 grand. California, 21 weeks. So, what are we missing? I had a sway bar on the rear end. <coughs> Excuse me. You got to dig that, right? Sway bar rear end. And a four door. Yeah, this car looks really nice, too. So it says a 3D3 727, 9 inch rear end, 350 posi. Got 350 gears in it. I have a Dakota dash with new wiring harness. It needs to be installed. Yeah, that's definitely something I don't like. But that's me. On to another one. 1964 Plymouth Belvedere, 19 weeks ago. California. I just have to adjust my glasses because this car looks absolutely pristine. Looking for a pristine, oh, I say that, and we got a bent front bumper, but man, other than a bent front bumper, absolutely loving the color, the chrome, still got the AC with the wide block turd in it, man, that's a cool car though, 10 grand, man, that's a great price too, I think, on to another one, give me a 1964 Plymouth Belvedere here, 11,000, this is more up my alley right here, 12 weeks ago and it's in Ohio. Had a real nice stance to this car. Got rust around the roof. Got a big block in it. Don't have some 318 poly turd in there. So I'm digging it. What a cool car. 11 grand. Big catch of this Ohio car now is a title. And you can see in his description, doesn't say nothing about it. Does have a phone number. Give Jerry a call. But first, always go to Facebook Marketplace Ohio. Look it up. Make sure Jerry still got it. 11 grand on that car. On to another one. Be 1964 Plymouth Prowler. That's how you type it in. 12.5. Listed four weeks ago in PA. Yep. It's a shame I can't get on and make a breakout video where I can get me a hundred thousand subscribers on explaining to people how to put their make and model in there. We've already seen like Belvedere and we've seen Fury, so if it's not an option, trust me, you can type it in there. And I explain a lot of times how to do it. When you're on make and model, you pick make, Plymouth, and it says model. And you get on there and you see that Belvedere, Savoy, or Fury's not there. You go all the way to the bottom of the list that says other. Click that. When you go back, you can type it in to say whatever you want it to say. So that being said, it's incredible that we see as many cars listed. And I think some of these guys are like, that's what they do. They flip cars and sell them all the time, but they don't know how to post them. Engine look really clean. Nice looking wagon. Is it 12.5? I don't know. That's kind of high, I think. But it's definitely a cool looking wagon. On to another one. Be 1964 Plymouth Belvedere. 14000 for this one. Less than a week ago in Texas. I do like the wheels and the hubcaps. Man, I dig it. It's missing the front bumper. It does have the glass and interior in it. 14 seam and high, but I guess you'd have to go to check it out. It's only been on here for a week. It has a title, and that's that's like incredible for Texas anymore, man. Texas is like getting to be as bad as Georgia without the titles, but we've seen like in the last six months a lot of Texas titles appearing. So a lot of times you get there to buy that car, I bet it's not a Texas title; it's a title from some other state. But he does have one. 
So you got to dig that. On to another one. This is a 60 Fuller Plymouth Belvedere here. 20 grand. I kind of like the metallic teal top on the white paint. The Kragers look great. Nice looking car. Could have definitely took better photos for 20 grand, my opinion. But there's a nice one. PA, you want to check him out. There's the printout on it. On to another one. Give me a 64 Plymouth Belvedere here. 25000 for this one. Listed six weeks ago, Missouri. Clean title. 64 Belvedere. Numbers matching. Push button tranny. I dig the keystones. I dig that gold paint. So definitely cooler with the keystones than the hubcaps. But I wouldn't own another Poly 318. So on to another one. It's a 1964 Plymouth Prowler. I've had my fun with those boat anchors. 32.5 for this one. So we're up to some big prices now too. We're getting to be some good money. They better be really nice turnkeys, right? Listed 13 weeks ago, California. Clean title. 440 engine, garage kept. I dig the American Racing Wheels. Awesome dual snorkel air cleaner. Automatic. Nice looking car. It's a 20,000. I don't know. I don't like the interior. I don't like the cloth seats. But that's me. On to another one. 1964 Plymouth Savoy. 35,000. Posted 15 weeks ago. Michigan. I do like the Magnum 500s on it. I don't know about the duct tape seats for a $35,000 car. I think he's kind of out of his mind, man. He needs to reupholster the seats and get rid of that steering wheel. And try to get that kind of money. But that's my opinion. If it's your area, Michigan, doesn't look bad in that picture. On to another one. But for another four grand, I'd rather have this one. I'll tell you that right now. 1964 Plymouth Sport Fury, 39000 listed 15 weeks ago, Illinois. It's probably going to be the nicest car in the search right here. He's got this car plaster all over Craigslist. So the next ad might actually be this car again on Craigslist. Because I know for sure I've seen it a thousand times. So this would be it right here for 42.5. Cincinnati is where it's at here. But that might not be correct either. So it's got a car dealership. Pretty sure this is the same car. Is this a four-speed? Nope, this is an automatic with a bench seat. So my bad. This is the one that's all over Craigslist. And this car looks like a better buy. So the buy of the day, it's under 40 grand. Illinois, 15 weeks, man. Just goes to show, even though it's a great buy, beautiful car, people ain't paying $40,000 for older cars. They just are not. And there's the four-door for more money. I mean, you got to be out of your mind. There's a Max Wedge engine in there, but obviously that's not original. Cool intake and carbs, but that could be put on the other car. On to another one. I don't see that making it worth 42000 On to another one. 64 Plymouth Sport Fury Custom 49.5. Listed four days ago. Indiana. I love the red. I don't know about the red and tan interior. Didn't care for all the aluminum shit all over the engine. But that's me. It definitely looks better than one of those Elderbrock fucking junk air cleaners. We can definitely... Oh, sure. That's d definite, right? So, I don't know. It looks like they shaved up the firewall. I just don't like the looks of the engine compartment. That's me, 49.5. That's what you're looking for. Boom. There you go. On to another one. So, 64 Plymouth Fury. 52.5. I don't know how you come up with 52.5 for a price, but I love the burnt orange. The hubcaps on the front. The chrome looks absolutely beautiful. There's the, the intake cross ram again. That's what you're looking for. This one's got it. I don't know about the wheels. Got some roller rockers on it. Looks like it's definitely a runner. I don't know. The rims in the back just don't look good. I'd rather have some pop bottle caps on it with the painted rim you see in the trunk on the front right there. I think those look way better on it. It's my opinion. On to another one. Give me our last Craigslist ad. It's going to be Orange County, California. It says private party survivor car 64 fury 426 four speed mint so that's how you punch it in it says 426 factory car so was this a factory max wedge i highly doubt it i love the chrome air cleaner man and factory chrome valve covers i don't know about the wheel well headers is that what those were i don't know look like exhaust manifolds could be if you see factory manifolds on there I believe they are. That's awesome. Cool car. 426. Check that out. 
The boys had a big price. What a beautiful car. 57.5. I'm going to go on a limb right here and say this was our nicest car of the day. Before we even look at the next two, they're more expensive. On to another one. It's a drag car. 1964 Plymouth Belvedere 62.1. That's the asking price. 10 weeks it's been on here. Minnesota. Yeah, looks like there's a couple drag cars in there. So, have they repainted over the years? No idea. Check him out. There's the description. It does say it's got a 426 Hemi Power Glide in it. That's what it says. Fresh built, dyno tuned. You seen the price right? 62.1. So, what's more than that? It's going to be this. 1964 Plymouth Other Silver. That's how he's got it printed up. Can't make that shit up, man. That's how he's got this car listed. For 65000 Down here for 16 weeks PA. Got some indie heads on it. Got the cross ram again. Looks like one badass nostalgic drag car. That made the cover of a magazine at one time. So, that's what you're looking for is a magazine car. We found one of those. But I got to tell you, I love the steering wheel. Nice looking wooden wheel. You're going to change out the wheel. Definitely put something nice in your car like that. I hate the bucket seats and the race seats. But it's a drag car. 65000 for that. Under my pick of the day. With that said, being a $65,000 car. Imagine how nice you can make this one. So this is my pick of the day. It's going to go to New York. 1964 Plymouth Savoy. That's how he's got it listed. 1800 bucks. So... I don't know how it could have been on here for 18 weeks. So, does that mean he'll take less if he still has it? He probably will. So, it says up for sale is my 64 Plymouth Savoy. The one has a slant six-cylinder with three-speed standard transmission. Overall, pretty good shape. Would make a nice street car, drag car, rat rod, or whatever you'd like to be. Undercarriage is solid. Came out of Carlos. Carlelius. I also have extra parts to go with it. Any questions? Message me back. 18 weeks, man. What am I missing? This car should have already been gone. So it does have some quarter damage. Looks so like they got this wrapped around here to hold the trunk shut. But that's the one I would go check out. I know it's been on here for a long time, but manual steering box, manual brakes. Yep, with a manual shift in it already. So you already got pedals. I'm digging it, man. $1,800. Man, you can't get out there fast enough to check that one out. That's my pick of the day. I'm going to try to bring back right on here again with the, either some Kudas or 69 Charger was one of our searches. So you got to love when we do 69 Chargers. You think these prices and Kudas, I think these prices were bad. So I don't know if we'll be back on here again tonight or not. I know I did try to do a couple other searches that we just didn't find nothing. I got a lot of other stuff going on, but I'll be on here at 8 o'clock tonight to be with you all in this premiere. If we got another one coming out afterwards, I guess you all already know about it. So like always, we don't charge any finder fees. We don't get any commissions when people sell cars. Way to pay it forward to the channel is hit that big thumbs up down there. Subscribe. Drop in the comments to make a model you're looking for, and we'll round them up for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.